Welcome back to another video. We're not using voice meter potato because I have arc in the background and when I switch my audio to voice meter I can't heal the game and if I change it back to normal the game will not pick up the sound still. So, I'm going to test uh, this audio for the mic, and yeah, it's uh, been a while since I have not used the microphone without any edit other than, I don't even know if the, what is this again? The equalizer will work, so this could be... Zest equalizer, it could only be the mic. I don't know. It's been, a, I'm guessing maybe five plus videos with the new setup. I don't know. Why would I keep track of that? I have over like 300 videos. <laughs> but yeah, um... So, sipping my tea with you all, and not bad for a long intro, but whatever, bloopers. Still seeing if I like the new OBS layout, which I have currently. I want to say it looks very dark, but the webcam, the video itself, the image is fine. The webcam looks dark grainy and blah but again that's because my light in just sucks i can't do anything about that i mean i could well let me see um but that's not why we are here but it is bothering me okay i have a little light source now but it's gonna stow into my face. If I do, yeah, I can see the difference, but. Uh, wait. Glow and light in my face. Not good. That's why I do not use that because it says stowing into my face. So I'm gonna turn that off because that is blinding me. Oh, that's better. And that that's why I don't use the uh, light source that I have, because it is glaring into my head. But, meat of the project right now, so we are in 3 minutes 30 seconds. Again, 333. Three, three. Angel numbers. Gotta have them. Everything has a reason behind the, the numbers, so lately it's been... 11, 11 when I was writing the post. Now it's 333. Three, three. And earlier I saw 555. Five, five. And once I saw 66, six, but I don't know. Maybe 44. Four. Again, I don't really know because my OBS is giving me a, a number right now. Anyways, now that that little bit is out of the way. The The subject for today is why have I been making the videos of late talking about how I've been alone and how I need to reach out to people. Well, the lesson is this shadow work that has been haunting me for years. Just gonna say it. That's been at the back of my head for a long time, and now I'm starting to come out of the closet, so to speak, and talk about it, because senses are, I'm not the only one who feels this way. There are going to be people out there who are literally scared to approach people because they were brutally harassed in the past. Harassment is in any form what I'm talking about is cyberbullying, 
bullying in general, which is a form of harassment. And I've been there. I was bullied pretty bad, but not as some people. Some people are going to be beaten. I was not physically attacked. However, except for one incident, incident, but beyond that, I was not attacked. I was pushed, shoved, um, and a bit. Oh, that's a molest. Molest. Mm. Uh, it, e, yeah. Uh, so what happened on that one? Was okay. I was standing in line, and some black guy behind me slapped my butt. Don't know why. Did I feel weird after that? Not really. I was like, "What the fuck?" That's my reaction. What the fuck? Then later I found out that, oh, you were somewhat raped. Speaking of rape, uh, there was another incident Well, this guy would not take no for an answer when I said, uh, no, I cannot do webcam with you, and I knew he was going to, you know what, trouble X. Can't talk about it on YouTube, but I'm talking about it anyways, Bri briefly. So, I kept saying no to the guy, he kept saying Pulling all these cars like I'm lonely and other nonsense. Then he tricked me into agreeing to the web chat. And what did you know? It was something that to this day I regret agreeing to. And to this day I do not talk to anyone on cam if you're a stranger because of that one incident of rape. Even when this one girl kept asking me to draw me nude, and I'm like, nope, even if you do that for an art project, I'm not doing it. And that was before the incident even happened. Even then, I was skeptical, knowing that, oh, you're just going to want dirty stuff. It's human nature to do that, but there's a fine line between respect and just being lustful. And this guy who would not take no for an answer was lustful as fuck. And he disrespected me and it was, in a sense, rape. So yeah, there's many different forms now because of the internet. But that's the... Uh, Again, who knows, maybe someone else has the same type of incident and they'll like feel in the same way like like how I feel like um meaning you're not the only one who has been there. I've done it. I'm saying it now openly to the public and that's the the lesson here. Do not be afraid to talk to the public about what has happened to you. You might meet someone who feels the same way. You get to talking and you can heal that. For me, right now, talking about it, it's healing. Even though I am talking at my PC, recorded. But, yeah, um, right now, the lesson is... Do not be afraid to openly shell something with the public, or even anyone for that matter. So I, I'm coming out of the closet with a lot of stuff. Uh, it was one, am I bi? I thought it was. Turns out, no. I'm not. I'm not bi. Why? Well, I thought it was, could be into girls. Uh, I did uh, date one person online, however, that was a big mistake uh, because my anger turned her on at the wrong time and it caused a huge argument and we broke up. But again, that was online. 
The other incident was I had a crust on a goth chick back in high school, never dated her. Only two only two incidents. Well I did have a crust on a female character. What about an anime or video games? None. Do I have a crust on Laura Croft? Nope. Therefore I'm not bi. Though no, no, I was gonna say what about my my uh characters that I play and Warcraft, meaning you design your character, be it female or male, or a furry, because they have pandas and now foxes. Do I have a cross on the female characters that I have played? No. But the only time that I did was my demon hunter, who is a male. Blood elf. Demon hunter. Mel. Only time. Only time. But have I shipped him with another female character that I made? No. Just just my demon hunter. But that's kind of... I'm sure other people have done that. They play a female because they crush on her. I play Mel because I cross on them. I candy. I mean, we've all done it. Then again, this one person did tell me they refuse to play the opposite sex because they are not a guy. Why limit yourself like that? Eh, maybe it's just me because I played Link. I've played uh, Castlevania on the old Nintendo or Super Nintendo. Uh, again, all male leads, basically. Final Fantasy, nothing but men. Ex unless you're talking about Lightning, which is Final Fantasy. Oh god, I can't even remember that number. I'm guessing 14. No, 13. Can't remember. It's on PS3. I don't know what number, but if you're ex if you're counting that, does her and... And, uh, what's the other one? God... I can't, I know what scene looks like, can't remember her name, but she was a side character, not the main. But that's what I'm saying, I played a lot of male characters who are the leads. Again, Link. We all know Link. But, maybe that's why I've played nothing but men. But now it's like... Well, if he's hot, he's hot. So, but yeah, I've, I've crossed on my high elf knight, yeah, high elf male character back in Terra, who was a priest that I made. But I always went with Silver Hell due to Sephiroth. I don't know, so something about men in white hell is hot for me, so yeah. Um, that's, I don't know, we all have our quirks, and just be open to the public about it, meaning create your weird fan group thing, community. Yes, there are furry communities out there. Me, I would create, um, well, my coven, for, for one, make that into the public, or, if I could, create a guild, and turn that from the game into real life, meaning have a Discord server for the guild, and then try to bring that into the real world, or into VR chat, or into Second Life, and just go from there. Meaning there was this one Second Life uh, place where you go, but that was sorts of uh, Leviathan or something, uh, meaning you go there to worse of this thing, this character. Uh, shorthand, it was called C C H O L. I don't even remember. This was seven years ago. Do I know if it still exists? Hell, I know. But again, uh, unless it was Church of Lucifer, no, it's not that. Can't remember. But they created a Church of Worship on Second Life for people to come and go there. Because 
chances are they can't do it in real life, so they do it in the virtual. So I would kind of do that myself, meaning create my coven into a second life, go from there. Or I had the vision of, okay, I'm going to do something in second life. Uh, you can put your a web page in second life so you can watch YouTube videos on there so you can have this big giant screen you have channels and stuff and a gathering place and people can go there to hang out with you and watch YouTube videos or if you're streaming you can maybe do that through second life I don't know all I know is this one time I was in second life man a guy and a girl not like that. Not a threesome. Nope. Get your head. Nope. Just hanging out. We were watching YouTube videos on Second Life. So yeah, that's kind of what I was trying to say. But have a place of worship type thing. Meaning, create my temple on Second Life if I could. Or do it in VR chat. Same thing, you can watch YouTube videos on VR chat and hang out. So that's kind of the idea if I ever get around to it because that requires money on Second Life. However, on VR Chat, that's completely free. I believe if you know what you're doing and have the Unreal Player thing, uh, Unreal Engine, sorry. But yeah. Um, that's kind of what's been floating on my mind. Lesson, be open, show everything into the public side, if it's appropriate. Even if it's not, just briefly say it and then just zip. I mean, soft, softy. Meaning, uh, by that I mean, on fanfiction, you can upload mature content. However, it cannot be full-blown rated R or rated X. It has to be soft. So, yeah, soft. That's just look up fanfics and uh, ratings, meaning E through MA. You can do MA, but you can't do it full blown. And same thing for YouTube. Except you cannot upload anything that is MA. So, it has to be rated T. To a degree. Oh wait, now you can't do rated T because everything has to be rated E. You do that whole child safety act. Oh, I'm gonna force the YouTube kids onto the main YouTube channels. Please no, because I'm rated T. Stop it. But yeah, uh, that's kind of the lesson. Just be open about everything, pretty much. If, keep it appropriate, and if it's not, just PM me, PM the person, go from there. Felt good doing that. Uh, but yeah. Until we meet again.